so basically uh, we will cover the licensing part in this uh, uh, session uh, so the thing is uh, the licensing is actually done from the customer portal so you should have an account with the palo alto i mean that should be uh, registered through your uh, company right so i will not be able to log in uh, directly to my account because there are many information that i need to those are like private right so i have taken screenshots from the account with the um, i mean uh, the details hidden which are not meant to be shown right so what you get really is uh, if you want to go for an evaluation license right you you again need to conduct i mean uh, you need to contact the uh, sales team of the palo alto so if you have an account i mean the sales manager in your company you can uh, talk to them and they can give you um, the evaluation evaluation license which would be around 90 days period license or 30 days or 60 days depending on the type of license that they provide you right if your organization is using palo alto so this is how your um, this will look like a uh, customer portal uh, so you can raise your case here in the support home um, you can just register your device uh, for the cloud support and and you can uh, i mean uh, see all your cases in the support cases but for the registration we, we need to go is in the assets so you can see here i have selected uh, this in the green assets uh, before this the sales team will provide you uh, with an auth code authorization code uh, which will be mailed directly to you and then you have to actually add that uh, auth code inside this assets so when you go to assets under assets you will have these many options and you have to basically go to the vm series auth codes okay and then on the top you will see add vm series auth code you have to click on that and next you will see this screen okay so basically for the labs and all you uh, you basically use a vm uh, vm right so they will give you a vm uh, evaluation license and when you eval i mean register your device right this is the screen you get and here you actually mention all the details so this is all i mean online right yeah. on the portal itself so your your device also needs to be connected to internet it should have internet reachability there is nothing like you enter the serial number and then license is activated so you will see that now now once you have the auth code right so you have to go here and you have to register your vm before that remember you have to register your auth code also here okay add vm series auth code you see right the blue mark uh, where i have uh, mentioned number two yeah, yeah. once you yeah once you select there you will get this option now all these details are required now where to get these details i will show you in the next slide so see now you go to your uh, palo alto and you type the command show system info like uh, yesterday we saw the command right and if your uh, palo alto is not licensed obviously then you will not see the serial number as you can see the serial number is unknown right but what is required is the uuid cpu id and the vm mode this is how uh, when you enter the vm mode it will come to know it's a vm right and then the software version that you are running so these are the important things that i have marked in uh, green with an arrow right so in the next screen uh, on the on the gui also you can get this from the dashboard right you have the model serial number which is obviously not available one before the license cpu id uuid which is the important part that you can also get from cli as well as from the gui these are the two methods then you have to uh, i mean in the register virtual machine uh, in the portal you have to enter these details right uuid cpu id and the auth code that you re uh, received from the palo alto sales team right so auth code i have hidden uh, then the os release whichever is the i mean nearest because uh, when i try to authorize i mean license my uh, vm which is on 10 i didn't saw the os release above 9.1.9 so i selected 9.1.9 then your virtual platform are you using vmware ex exe are you using 
the hyper uh, hyper v from microsoft are you using e, uh, the uh, what do you say the clouds anything that you uh, are using you just need to specify here and then you submit and and make sure that uh, that i said um, you should your device should have reachability to the internet right that means if you're using by default the management interface for reaching to the palo alto updates server you should have a gateway on your management interface like this you will see this um, in the future videos how to do this and then you should have a dns set for your palo alto device in the services you can see that um, I have set the primary DNS to 8.8.8.8 and secondary to 4.2.2.2 so that your firewall is able to resolve the URLs, FQDN, right? And also just for a, a verification, you can just ping from your CLI, ping host, google.com, because when you do a ping like this, uh, the traffic will go through the management. Okay, we are assuming just we are using the management interface for reaching to the internet, okay? And also for the updates. And once you have confirmed this, you have to click submit. But there is a requirement for the Palo Alto to be licensed, right? You can see failed to in, uh, install license, resource check failed, memory needed is minimum 6.5 GPs. Uh, I mean, earlier I had allocated actually 5.5 GP, so that was an error. So that is a catch, um, I mean, an uh, important information, right? You need at least 6.5 GB of RAM to be allocated to the uh, firewall to be licensed. Okay, now once that is done, after F, I mean, brief amount of time, uh, when it syncs up with the cloud services, the serial number will automatically pop up. Once you have a serial number, that means your Palo Alto is actually licensed, the VM, right? And then you go next and in the device tab, when you go and check for the license, you will see all these license up to date. So you can see, I, I actually uh, licensed this firewall on 14 Jan and this lasts for like two months, right? And you can see all the license are valid till 15 20, March, 2022. So that means I got an evaluation for 60 days. Okay, that's it for the licensing part any so let's do one thing let's go to the Palo Alto itself from the Palo Alto also you can you can use the auth code that you received right from the um, sales team to license to activate actually different license I'll just show you. Close, remind me later. And you have to go to the device tab for the license. And when you scroll down like this to the license part, and you will see all the license that you have installed on your Palo Alto. You can just hit retrieve license key for updating up. If you have added any license, it's not showing up. We just refresh it from here. Retrieve license keys from license server. And if you want to use the authorization code to activate some, so for, for example, now you have, you don't have the bright cloud, right? It's not, uh, I mean, it's saying active as no. Uh, so for example, you purchase the uh, bright cloud, uh, cloud license. And what they give you is again, an auth code. So you go here and activate like feature using auth code, click here and enter the auth code here. And that's how you will see the license going active here. Once you enter it here, right? You can also manually upload the license keys that you download from the uh, customer support portal. That is also a way, but this is the proper um, recommended way to do it, to sync it with the cloud services, right? 